Almost every four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Mission Control for a feature focus video. Today, we're going to talk about locking the console and the custom lock screen. To lock the console, press and hold the AVO key and then soft key A, lock. You then be prompted to type in a code. Uh, this must be at least four characters. Uh, there is no upper limit that I could find. I typed in over 50 characters before I got tired of typing and it was still let me do more. It can be either numbers or letters. Uh, you can either use an external keyboard or the virtual keyboard on a full console. If you forget the code or mistyped it, uh, version 10.1 and up, you can use the default code of 68340. Uh, for 10.0 and below, you'll just restart the console. However, with 10.1 and up, uh, the lock will hold even through a restart. So let's show that in action. So here I'm using the Titan Go interface on version 13 of the software. So if we were to uh, press and hold our AVO key, which on the Titan Go interface would be right click, uh, and then choose soft key A, lock, I can then type in a code such as one, two, three, four. I just use my keypad to do that. And lock, we now see that the console is locked. Uh, if I let my mouse sit there long enough, the uh, word says locked and typing the password word will fade out. As we saw there, uh, to type in a code then, I simply just press a button or start typing in my code and then hit enter. And we see that it unlocks the console there. Custom lock screen. A version 12 added the ability to display a background image when the console is locked. Uh, the settings in the user settings of Titans. Press and hold the AVO key and then the soft key C. Choose user settings. And in the general tab, you'll find where you can set it. Uh, the background can be quick sketch or images. So we see that here, we go ahead and press and hold our AVO key and then choose user settings. So we'll see here lock screen background. And if we click tap to set, uh, we could then first go to our uh, quick sketch if we wanted. So we could just draw something on the screen here and I'll use my touch screen to do that. And then hit enter. So now if I exit out of the user settings, press and hold the AVO key and go to lock and give it a code again, like one, two, three, four, and hit soft key A to lock it. You now see it says, uh, hello, as my lock screen. I can then also type in one, two, three, four again, and hit enter to unlock it. I can then go into the user settings again, and then I can simply go in and click on the uh, item again, I then change it to the folder. I can then choose from pictures, uh, either on my hard drive of my console uh, or computer or from a USB stick in this case. I can choose, for instance, I have on here a couple of different logos. I could choose uh, the Mini Academy logo, click check. So now next time I lock the console, again, press hold the AVO key, lock, type in a code and hit lock. We now see it has that as the background image. If I let it sit long enough, it will uh, fade that out again. There we go. And I can just type in my code to unlock the console. Uh, if we go into it, user settings again and click on it, I'm going to go into our folder. Uh, and I select an image. Uh, we'll go ahead and select this one. You also see on the uh, soft keys here, I have a scaling mode. I can set it between, I can set the sca scaling mode between none, which has no scaling. The pixels are treated one to one. A uh, letterbox scales the image so that it either fills either the horizontal or vertical width of any given display, whichever is the lesser, while maintaining the aspect ratio. Fill scales the image to fill either the width or height of any given display, whichever is greater while maintaining the aspect ratio. Stretch scales the image to fill both the height and width of any given display. The aspect ratio is not maintained. So let's see that in action. 
So if we go into our user settings and we select our image here again, and I'm going to go back to this one and leave it on letterbox. And we'll go ahead and lock the console. Uh, we can see that it doesn't fill the entire screen because there's these gray bars off to the side. So if we go ahead and unlock it and go back into user settings, and change it to stretch, for instance, and then exit out, and then lock the console again, and hit enter. We see that now it's stretched the image out to fit the entire screen. So even if your image isn't the exact size of your screen, you can have it fit. So we'll go ahead and unlock the console one more time. If we enter the user settings again and choose our image and uh, we'll change it to uh, fill this time and select it, exit out, go back into the lock. Obviously, it also filled it out this way. Uh, it's, uh, different images obviously are going to give us different uh, readings. So that's Locks in the Console and setting a custom lock screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and join us next time. Thanks. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.